Hello and welcome to this video. This is the third in a series in which I look at the fascinating subject of dreams and in particular I will be talking about dreams I have had and what I think they mean. Before looking at individual dreams and themes I would like to mention that it's a good idea to keep a dream diary as it will not only help you remember your dreams by getting into the habit of recording them but it will also help you look for patterns in your dreams so you can deal with any issues you may have in your waking life. And who knows, perhaps one of your dreams actually came true. I've been working at my current job at CEX for over four years now, and especially recently I've had a number of dreams about work, which is not surprising as it's a big part of my life, but the problem is that these dreams can seem too real. For example, I had a dream on the 1st of November 2014 that I was working at CX and a customer was wanting to sell DVDs, but when I looked at them a second time, the number of DVDs was now different, so I accused the customer of taking some of the DVDs away. It's very common in dreams for things to change when you look at them again, such as a time on a watch or a clock, or a sign on a shop, and realising that you've experienced a dream oddity while dreaming can help trigger lucidness. When lucid in a dream, you can take control of the dream, meaning you can explore the dream world easier, fly, or have superpowers, to give a few examples. While well, a lot of us have had nightmares, and they can truly be terrifying, our more friendly dreams try to protect us, even when we are lucid, and attempt to test how our brains will react. When I'm lucid in a dream, one way I test out the dream world is by going outside my home and running into the cars, but I always be protected from being hit. Of course, I only do that test because I'm very sure I am actually dreaming, so it's not a good idea for someone to try out that sleepwalks. In a dream I had on the 4th of January 2015, I was cycling, and although I don't remember being lucid, I tried to cycle into a car, but an invisible force steered me away. The reason I dreamed about cycling was likely because I had at the time bought a new bike, but thinking about the dream again recently, being guided away from danger is kind of like in a video game in which you cannot be harmed by traffic. Flying in dreams is very common and it supposedly represents the dreamer's desire to escape from something in real life or the fact that they have dealt with an issue such as a bad situation. In a dream I had on the 6th of March 2015, I was in an outside area with lots of people and I ascended off the ground and even though people could see me flying, they did not react in a way you would expect should someone in real life actually do that. But in this dream, although I found it difficult to stay off the ground for more than a short while, I saw three young men also flying upward and I advised them on how to stay flying. If you think about it, if every night a huge number of people are dreaming about flying, to dream of other people flying is almost like you're, you've invaded their dream, or that our dreams have crossed over. As in the dream I was helping the other dream cats to fly better, that may be a reference to my own desire to keep flying in dreams. I have talked before about dreaming in colour, and despite people claiming it's not possible to dream in colour, even though I'm sure a lot of people do, including myself. In one dream I had recently, I saw the video character Yoshi, and he was distinctly green, and showed up against the less colourful video game background of the dream. However, on the 7th of March 2015, I had a most odd dream, in which I dreamed in black and white, and I remember how clear everything looked. In the dream, I was in a field with my sister, and she was trying to explain to me about the benefits of black and white, and now that I understood, I explained to the rest of my family, that is, in black and white, things are not distorted by colour. To me, what the dream was saying is that, in a situation, you need to strip everything down so you get to the core and not be distracted by anything else. I should add that there is the famous saying about things being black and white, which refers to something that is clearly defined. Dreams like to use puns, and this is something I've touched on before. I had a dream on the 13th of June 2017 in which I was at work and a customer asked to see a still book but I couldn't find the one he wanted, yet I found I had an actual book in my hand. 
On the book was a label which said Laptops Dash Acer. The reason for this dream is possibly because before I had the dream, I was talking to somebody about the Microsoft Surface Book, which is like a laptop, hence the label on the book in my dream. Although the manufacturer, of course, is Microsoft, not Acer, and the label format of Laptops Dash Acer is no longer used by CEX. The other pun is that the customer asked to see a still book, but instead I ended up with a book in my hand. Dreams can be inspiring and they have given me ideas for levels to use in my video game, funny enough called My Dream, but they can also be a glimpse of how we may use technology in the future. I dreamed on the 5th of August 2011 that on some type of screen there was a computer-like dialog box that would be familiar to any Windows user. However, I was seeing the dialog box in 3D space even though the dialog box itself was flat as if 2D. I could see behind the dialog box and the text and the X close button that make up the dialog box, but I could see as if they were in separate layers. While Windows has 3D effects on its virtual on-screen components, the only time you would ever see anything 3D like is like in Windows 7 when you press uh, the Windows key and tab, which presents the different windows in 3D to select. Perhaps in the future we will be seeing everything on our computers in 3D space, but either a possible reason for this dream was due to me thinking at the time about how some video games display text in 3D space within a game world, such as when a character is talking. It's one thing to dream about a video game, but what about a video game character within a supposedly real world? That was a case for a dream I had on the 23rd of April 2012, in which I sat at a table with Lara Croft of Tomb Raider fame, but she was telling me that my mum didn't like something about her. But rather than Lara's live action counterpart, in the dream Lara looked computer generated, even though everything else in the dream looked real. In real life, my mum does like the Tomb Raider games, and me and my family, including my mum, watched the Tomb Raider film at the cinema when it came out. If you think about the dream world as similar to a video game, it's easy to compare with video games that use a more cartoony type of graphics compared to more realistic graphics. I've already mentioned about dream characters having lucid-like powers such as the ability to fly, and I have another example from a dream I had on the 9th of November 2011. In the dream I was in the kitchen with who I thought to be the then CEO of Age Concern Havering, a place I used to volunteer at. At one point the CEO went through the kitchen work surface, much like a glitch in a video game, and I thought to myself he was able to pass through the solid material because he had become lucid. I also thought to myself in the dream that I would write down what I had seen in my dream diary. Because of that fault, I reasoned that I must be lucid, since I knew I was dreaming. But when I tried to go through the work surface like the CEO had, I couldn't. Can dreams predict the future? On the 21st of August 2003, I had a dream where I was outside my secondary school, aka high school, and I was heading for the cross scene, and the kids said to me that I had a lot of silver and gold medals associated with my name. Why did it make any sense at the time, as I've never been that into sports? Nine years later, London hosted the Olympic Games, and I worked in Stratford where the Games are hosted as a sales assistant. While on the theme of dreams showing the future, in a dream I had on the 2nd of September 2007, I was set at a large TV, and I remember pressing the screen to select a program to watch, with each program selection presented in a rectangle. Some of the selections had free written on them, but I became worried when I selected one that wasn't marked as free. I was concerned I would be charged, but then remembered that the phone line wasn't plugged in. The phone line not being plugged in references the Sky set-top boxes needing a phone line for certain services, and of course we are familiar with on-demand services. 
But in the future, could we all be sat at our TVs, making selections on the screen, like we do with our phones and tablets? When we dream, we can, as already mentioned, get great ideas for projects, and it's true that inventors have solved problems thanks to their dreams, such as the invention of the sewing machine. But could it be possible that when dreaming, we can perform better at certain tasks? In the dream I had on the 3rd of February 2006, I had in my mind the equation 50 squared equals 2500, which is correct. In real life, I am not that good at mental arithmetic, and those numbers have no significance to me. But it's possible that in our relaxed state of dreaming, calculations come much easier. Telling someone about the events that have just played out in a dream, as if you've woken up by actually still dreaming, happens to me quite common, and though for me it usually doesn't trigger lucidness, it is probably the result of having an attitude in real life to remember my dreams. Having a dream within a dream, that is a false awakening, is supposedly a reassuring type of dream, but it can be a bit annoying to falsely awake and go about your daily routine to then actually wake up for real. Attempting to write down the dream you just had or turning it to a dream character can help you remember the dream when you actually do return to the real world. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this has been an interesting video. Please do let me know your thoughts and if you have any interesting dreams to share. Please do also check out my site and the past two videos I have done on this subject. And if you'd like me to do a part four, please let me know. Thanks for watching and that's bye for now. Bye.